Well, last night you had a chance to get back to your hometown of Chicago, Illinois, a chance to see the family and hang out a bit? Yeah, it was good. I got to go home, actually go back to my parents' house for dinner and see my brother and sister and my sister's kid and hang out with my parents. It was great. When Greg Rollo goes back to his parents' house, is the childhood bedroom still intact or have they turned it into like a guest bedroom or something? No, to your stuff out? I'd say it's about 95% still <laughs> intact. It's, uh, it's definitely going home, it feels home and, and it's always good to go home for me. I uh, really enjoyed it and not much has changed in my room though. <laughs> Uh, a bit of a tough game last night. You guys were losing the shootout 4-3, but certainly you pick up a point on the road and certainly going to help out in this tight race. How does this team evaluate that game yesterday after uh, sleeping on it? I think they came out hot, like really strong, and, and we kind of weathered the storm in the beginning to be able to battle back and, and get back into the game. And, you know, what? one thing that really stands out to me last night was Bozy. Like, um, he let in and he let in a pretty soft one his first shot and his ability to bounce back in that first period. and and put it behind him that shows his growth and how you know the the movement or the direction he's going in his career it, it was pretty amazing to see that so that's a definitely a positive and our penalty kills came up big last night we i don't think we gave up a power play goal against a pretty deadly power play and there was quite a few penalties against us so that's something that we can look look forward to tonight trying to stay out of the box and get some power plays in our favor you mentioned the momentum of the penalty kill. You guys lose Austin fighting with the game misconduct. He's one of the penalty killers on this team. You're sliding in, taking face-offs, kind of moving back into the center position at times. So what is it about this penalty kill unit over the last 15 games or so that it's really clicking? You guys have been killing off penalties of more than 90%. I think it's just getting that confidence. It's Penalty kill is a funny thing. It's sometimes you do everything right and they still score. I mean, it's five on four. They're, they're supposed to, to get chances. It's just limiting those chances to the outside shots and, and not really giving up the grade A kind of through the seam one-timers that we look to get on our power play. So I think we've been doing a really good job of that and we've been doing a really good job on the on the entries, not, not allowing teams to set up and, and get into those set positions. You've been a steady member of this lineup now as uh, some personnel has shifted around. How does the speed of the game feel? Do you feel like you're finally back to 100%? You've got the timing down and everything after uh, some time off? Yeah, I'd say that the games in Iowa kind of is when it, it really started to click, like a comfort level and, and confidence. I mean, even even at my age, like you still get a little bit nervous, and then the game, uh, getting back into the game, you want to do the right thing. So to have my timing and my speed and conditioning and all that kind of clicking now, it feels really good. This is a Rockford team that is right outside the playoff bubble. You guys are in the middle of a thick playoff race. If you could get three out of four points on a two-game road swing, that'd be ideal. How do you make sure that happens tonight? Come out strong. I think that's uh, the key for our team is a, is a strong beginning to the game and then going from there, kind of taking advantage of the power plays and, and keeping our penalty kill strong and, and doing the right thing. Like Right now, it's every game is so important and it's cliche as it is, it's it's that time of year and we're right in the, the hunt of things and our division is so tight. You, you lose a game, you drop a couple spaces, you win a game, you go up. It's it's going to be a fun, a fun little uh, last couple months down the season and look forward to it.